Hi you guys, it's Melanie and today is officially dorm room move in day. Do you remember the niece that I did this graduation party for where I transformed her garage into a beautiful graduation celebration? Well, that is the niece that I am all packed up to carry to Georgia State. So let's get into so it. We are on our way to drop my niece off at college and the traffic in Atlanta on a Friday morning is insane. It is absolutely insane. I just want y'all to know that I'm not even looking at the camera because my nerves are so bad. I live in Alabama. We don't have this kind of traffic and foolishness. Look at this foolishness. We don't have this kind of foolishness at 10 o'clock in the morning. You stay in the left three lanes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Hello guys. So um, right now, I'm excited. They don't even know who you are. Oh, yet. I'm Kina. Um, I'm Auntie. Well, this is my Auntie Mimi, but y'all know her as Living Luxuries for Less, Melanie Turner. <laughs> That's who y'all know her as. But, um, so we're on the way now to school, to Georgia State. And I'm really excited. I'm nervous. I'm really all the emotions. But me and Auntie Mimi, we was just chatting. And she was just telling me, like, a little bit of advice as I go on. And I, I'm just excited, y'all. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Because, like, you know, it's like being a freshman all over again. I just graduated high school and now I'm back again, freshman in college. But I'm here for the right reasons. So, yeah. So, how do you feel about the dorm room? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm so ready to see my room. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for us to get done with it. I, I'm, I think it's going to turn out really good. Like, amazing. I think it's going to be really cute. Like, we have so much cute stuff, y'all. It's so we'll take it. Tell them we'll take them along the way. Yes, we're going to take y'all along the way and show y'all everything. Keep y'all updated. Bye! Bye! So, the check-in process was really hectic, and we were under an extreme time constraint. We only had an hour to get moved in, and so I went over to the A side of her dorm to show you what the room looks like before it's just the reverse of this on the b side but i did want to show you guys what that before looked like and they also have the most incredible view look at her view this is what it looks like in the daytime i was like oh my goodness this is such a beautiful view and this is what she sent me that night to show me her view at night how calming and relaxing is that? I'm so excited for her to have this beautiful view her freshman year. Okay, so when we moved in a dorm, the first thing I wanted to do was get up the artwork, the headboard, and the curtains so that I could take my time to kind of work on this wallpaper. I do appreciate the fact that we got the cheetah print wallpaper because it was really forgiving in terms of how we matched up the patterns because your girl is not a professional wallpaper installer, but she is a professional auntie, okay? She she loves her nieces and nephews. So with that being said, um, they were putting together all of her personal items while I was putting up the wallpaper. The key was this little ice scraper thing was huge for me um, because it allowed me to kind of work through that and it turned out looking absolutely amazing. We did flip the bed so that that rail would be in the like towards the wall and I used the pillows to cover that rail up to the best of my ability um, and then we just put that wallpaper behind to kind of um, mass that area and so i really love the way that it turned out um, we could not get the rail off i tried to get it removed but it just did not work and this desktop bookcase was everything i got it from amazon i absolutely love it turned out gorgeous i will leave the link to that live down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out i will leave it down there for you you and I want to say, say um, before we go any further, if you sense any shakiness in the camera or if the light is distorted, it's because we are in a dorm room. It's very close, very crowded, and my niece was filming for me. Now, this next accent chest I also got from Amazon. It was an excellent price, and I thought it would be perfect to put the lamps on, and it also kind of framed the space with the curtains that we hung. And again, I already showed you guys the beautiful view out of this window, and I also DIY'd this little floral centerpiece for her. And inside of the hut, she's going to keep all of her personal items like towels, um, toiletries, cleaning supplies, and things of that nature. 
Now, when I did the Amazon Live the other night, I told you guys that I was going to mix and max match the pattern. And that was so important for me to kind of pull uh, my inspiration from the artwork. And so if you guys are wondering, how did I come up with the inspiration for this design? It was solely this artwork um, that I found on Amazon. When my niece told me what color she wanted, I just went in and started searching for artwork in the black and blush colors. And when I came across this, it just really spoke to me. I did go with the larger print. I think it was a 24 by 32, but I just think that it really made a nice impact with the size of the bed. And because they do have a limit in the amount of holes they can put in the wall, I wanted to get something big and substantial that would make a nice impact in the room. I don't know if you guys remember these books that I DIY for graduation party this year. Well, those I used to kind of sit underneath that floral centerpiece to ground it a little bit more. I had every intention on putting her school name on it, but I just ran out of time. But that is also a great DIY for you guys to do to kind of customize your dorm rooms. And it's something that you can use over and over and over again. Like I see some people putting like their college name, their um, different slogans, and the list goes on. Now, I showed you guys uh, a lot of these pillows and uh, pillow covers on Amazon Live the other night, and I told you that I would be mixing a lot of the patterns with the wallpaper. And the reason I wanted to do that, uh, show you guys the outcome, was because I wanted you all to see um, just how everything came together in the space. So I started out with the artwork, and the artwork just kind of, kind of grounded every single thing for me. I also included functional items like this ottoman. I also have one underneath her desk. I also covered her desk in that same print so that um, it would kind of mesh and blend with the room. That wallpaper is removable. I got it from Amazon along with this book desk hutch and my shoes. I'll tell you guys this story about my shoes if you ask me in the comments. I'll let you know why my shoes are significant and why I left them here outside of it blending with the artwork that I placed on the inside of her desk hutch that I also found on Amazon there is a there's a there's some significance to the shoes being on her desk okay so with that being said you guys I wanted to really maximize the space that she had she does have a roommate and at the time of us filming this video her roommate had not arrived and so going back to kind of how I came up with this whole idea was that she told me her colors and I knew right away that I needed to kind of blend in this rug I also got this rug on Amazon it is so cute you guys it is so plush and so soft and it, um, it's a double rug and I had like, I had it double layered there. So it's just really, really cute. And I thought it was just the perfect piece that, you know, really blended the artwork in. And I am just one of those designers that when I add something to a room, I like to add it at least three times, right? And so with the color blush, I had it in her headboard. I had it um, on her dust ruffle. I had it in this little container that I found at the Dollar Tree that I hauled a while back. I put all her pens and supplies in there and she also has room to grow. And so she put her MacBook inside of the pink, the blush pink um, carrier there. And I also had a planner for her and a journal for her to just serve as a reminder for her to go to church. And it says, with God, all things are possible. I also left a pair of my shoes there because she's following in my footsteps by being a second generation um, college student. And so I thought that was amazing. And it also matched the little heel on the picture. I also had like a little desk schedule or planner there for her along with a clock. I think I got the clock from Big Lots and that little middle piece from Ross. Now, in terms of the pillows, I used a lot of pillows. I love pillows in design. This headboard came from Amazon. It is by my favorite furniture designer on Amazon, and I will link that down in the description box below. Now, whenever I was decorating her room, I knew that I wanted that leopard or cheetah print to be kind of the 
foreground and I wanted it to be this the, the star of the show and so we added it in the removable wallpaper and it just we just kind of pulled that from that print and I just feel like when you're decorating it should be in threes and so like this um, artwork is in threes which was not intentional I just wanted it to be a lot bigger and you know substantial so it would take up a lot of that wall space but I did pull the printer the cheetah print from the photo to the wallpaper to the pillow to the desk to the rug so it, it appeared in the room at least in three different places which really grounded the overall design in the books there's books in the major photo in this photo there will be books on her bookshelf and there were also books on her accent chest just to give you guys an idea of kind of how I was thinking about pulling together her design. I wanted it to be beautiful and functional. I thought that her desktop bookcase or desktop hutch, you know, did just that. We also added in another black rug because the rug, of course, was not beautiful. <laughs> and so we added in a small black rug and I layered it with the cheetah print rug, um, as well so those are the books I was talking about so we have the books in three different places um, one there one on the wall and one underneath her actual um, desktop hutch this accent chest again came from Amazon and I also added in the two lamps on the side I got those lamps a while back from Hobby Lobby they were on clearance and so I thought those were a great price and um, and it really brought some white to the room for some reason uh, I guess because of lack of light as you guys can see the color kind of changed it looked yellow but now it's it's more of a whitish color um, in their room so I'm going to give you guys kind of um, an overview of some of the other areas her roommate had not arrived at this point so I did not get that side of the room and I wanted to kind of give them some space and time to get their part of the room ready uh, to save space, they did have a dresser and a desk. We placed a dresser underneath the uh, bed to save space. So that's just something that you may want to consider uh, if you're moving in a dorm room. Raise the bed up as high as you possibly can. And all of those extra totes and suitcases and dressers, all that stuff can go underneath the bed. And the bed skirt beautifully hides all of those items. As for the other spaces, I just added in this piece of artwork that I picked up at Ross. It matched the shower curtains that they had in the bathroom. And so I just wanted to spruce the area up just a little bit. You can also find these uh, on Amazon if you can't find them in Ross. I also added in some little hand towels I thought was super cute. This one says no selfies in the bathroom. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and then it was just a striped one that I added on the other side for the other roommates. And then I had a little bark heart in the other part of the bathroom along with a little piece of artwork so that they can kind of sort things on the bark heart as well. So I didn't do a whole lot there, but I just wanted to kind of share with you guys the other small updates that I made in those areas. So again, here is the before and here is the after. I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Please let me know your favorite aspect in the design down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!